In this video, I will be extending the engine coolant heater power cord in my 2016 GMC diesel equipped tow vehicle. For some unknown reason, GM decided to terminate the engine coolant heater under the hood rather than where it might be easily accessible, such as behind the grill. Unfortunately, even when using a flat power cable, I have to leave the hood ajar to prevent damaging the cable by the hood. This presents two problems. First, when the hood is not fully closed, the remote start feature is disabled. Second, in winter conditions, the hood could become frozen under the snow and it will be difficult or impossible to open, which means it will be hard to remove or install the cable if I have to take the truck out on the road. I've been procrastinating on this project for the six years that I've owned this vehicle. And finally, I've just had enough and I'm going to fix it. I'm not sure just yet how I'm going to do this, but I do have a six foot 14 gauge cord and I want to put this behind the front grill. I don't know if I can feed the power cord from the grill into the hood with the connector on the end, so I may have to snip the connector off. If I do, then I have a spare connector. Also, I kind of like to make it waterproof. So another option I have is this outlet. And it has the male side. It does have a waterproofing cover that just fits on. And that's kind of sloppy. I suppose you could put some uh, washers behind this with this hardware. But since I have a 3D printer, I 3D printed a little flange. And then that will help hold the backside of this cover. The other option is I found a cover like the one that's on there already on the inside. So we could try that. And another neat little thing is I found these little gaskets that are supposed to go into the connection. So that's yet another idea. And here's the limit to the factory heater. And to install the extension, I have to find a route from here to the grill. And this shroud is just held on with these push downs. And I'm using this tool. Works quite well. And you just get this below the head and lift up on it and then this comes out and then when we want to put it back in we would simply push it back in and then push the top down to secure it and now I have enough room that I can open this up and I can find a path to the front of the grill plan A did not work out I cannot feed this receptacle into the grill so I'm going to have to revert to plan B and use the molded end of the extension cord. Unfortunately, I could not feed the cable around the radiator with the end on it, so I had to snip off the female end. I figured it was better to make the splice with the new connector under the hood rather than in front of the radiator as it would be less exposed to the weather. I was not able to record the actual routing of the cable. It went from poking the cable through the grill up and around the radiator and finally terminating under the hood at the location of the heater plug. In this installation I also used one of the specialty cable ties that I have. This one allows you to use an existing hole and push the cable tie into the hole which helps secure the wire and you can see in this close-up how I did that. I pushed the barb end of the cable tie into a hole like this one. Then to re-secure the radiator shroud I just reinstalled those push pins that I removed. I ended up using one of the covers that I showed earlier in the video to cover the plug and I will put a link to those items in the description of the video. And this just looks like the cover under the hood. Finally I poked the cord behind the grill so you cannot see it. And then the last step is to simply wire the other connector under the hood. Now this connector is not really waterproof but you get the idea and I'll probably replace it before winter. Also, I used one of these silicone gaskets to further help waterproof the connection. Visit rv-project.com